Leah, welcome into your one year from now tarot reading. We're going to ask your spirit guides to please come into my spirit room to guide me in the reading and to show me clearly everything I need to see, especially what is going on with you right now. And then we're going to be looking at what is going to be coming in for you in a year from now, actually looking at where changes are going to be happening, how things are going to be looking differently in your life. So let us get started, Leo. Spirit guides for Leo, please come into my spirit room. Guide me in this reading and show me clearly what it is I need to see. Speak to me clearly what it is I need to hear. For the greatest spirit good for all my leaders who are watching. Leo, welcome. So let's start off by looking at your current energy right now and going in depth here and having a look and see what's going on around you, what's happening in your world, and then we're going to move into that future energy for you. Do remember, Leo, it is a timeless reading, so when you get it, you're meant to receive it, okay? So let's get started, Leo. Let's find out what's going on with you at this time. Let's have a look and see. For Leo, main energy is coming up. I'm using two oracle decks. I will be using the same one in the a year from now energy. Between worlds. Okay. So the between worlds energy comes up for you here. You're transitioning, but you're not yet there. You could also be trying to make decisions, but you haven't yet fully made decisions. It's almost like you've got one foot here and one foot there. It's like you're on the brink of changing your life, but you're still in your old life in some kind of way. This can be, a maybe you've made a decision in your mind and you've told yourself that you are leaving a situation or you're changing something about your life and you're going, okay, so this is, I've made up my mind. This is what I'm going to be doing. But you're still living in that way of life that you're trying to leave behind. Um, as for example, somebody says, I'm going to, um, look for a new job. I'm totally leaving. I'm going to get a new job, but you still have to go to work every day in the current job that you have. Or it can be something else like somebody has already stepped out of a situation, but for some reason, they're still somehow connected to the old situation. There's still maybe loose ends that need to be tied up. Okay, so let's go a little bit deeper in here for you and see what else will come up in the current situation now. And we'll see. <coughs> Apologies, my chest is always closing up. <laughs> so here we go. Let's have a look and see. We have got miracles. Wow. Miracles energy is extremely good to come up here. It shows that in your current reality right now, and it does say the ancient wisdom as well. I feel like in your current reality right now, um, it's almost like you're working on creating a miracle. You may be doing this, um, or even maybe you have created one. <laughs> I'm just saying here, yeah. you might have done something here that seems miraculous. You might have achieved something in your life that you thought you would never be able to achieve, or you're trying to work on that. I also feel like with the ancient wisdom energy, you could be using some kind of like spiritual way of doing this, or you're using prayer, or you're using something that would be seen as spiritual, um, maybe meditation or changing how your energy is using crystals because these, all of these things are not actually new age, they're actually ancient, okay? And you could be using, you're going, okay, I'm going to be smudging out my house every single month, you know what I mean? Or every, every week so that I can change the energy of what's going on around me. So this is a real ancient wisdom energy and you're trying to create a miracle from doing that. Um, you might even be using... <clears throat> the power of the mind um, with ancient wisdom as well by using the power of thought, the power of positive thinking to try to shift and change a reality here and turn it into a miracle. If you've already done this, congratulations. Okay, that is amazing. That's how you do it. Okay, now you know. So let's get in here and have a deeper look in. I'm going to get clarifiers out for these cards as well. So we get a deeper look into what is going on here. Let's have a look and see. We've got the other nine of swords. Okay. We have got the Empress. We have got the Strength card. 
and we've got the lovers card coming in here as well let's get those clarifiers out for you so we can go more in depth with regards to each energy that i'm picking up on here <sighs> Okay, for my Leos out there, I do feel like they are a little bit in current energy worried. Maybe, yeah, the Two of Pentacles falls out as a clarifier there. I kind of feel like with the Nine of Pentacles, with now attached to the Two of Pentacles, I feel like it's truly that, that in-between worlds energy that we, we are picking up on here again because of this unbalance that shows up here. Okay, we've got the High Priestess, the Sun card. The Ace of Wands, hello. So your first energy out here, Nine of Swords coming up here. This card is all about worrying. It's about concern. It's about worrying. It's looking to the future. Even look as this polar bear is looking. Look at the direction the polar bear is looking in. This is where I'm going to be laying out the cards of one year from now. So most of the worry I feel like is coming up here in this energy has got to do with the in-between worlds energy. Again, he's looking at where you want to be, you see. And it's almost like you're going, how do I get this to, how do I get myself to be there? You may be <coughs> also, excuse me, with the in-between worlds coming in here, actually having some kind of lack of balance that's going on here. This lack of balance could be related to finances not being enough or your job security is not enough because whenever we see a pentacles energy has got to do with stability that being said it can also be attached to like a relationship um almost as if there has been a problem with stability in a relationship and you could be looking into the future even in one year from now and saying to yourself will this relationship actually become stable or will i actually have to leave the situation um it can be any kind of situation with regards to you depending on your own situation but i feel like your main worry is about the lack of some kind of balance and stability coming in here you may be finding it hard to handle things in this kind of energy and it's bringing up a lot of stress a lot of worries for you <coughs> excuse me guys so moving forward here we've got two very very similar energies coming in and we've got the empress coming in here with the high priestess the high priestess is related to all water sign energies which is cancer scorpio pisces i also feel like the empress as well is attached to like the intuition um deeper energy feeling emotion the high priestess is very similar but i'm finding this quite interesting because this is the card that lays underneath the miracles ancient wisdom and here is your high priestess rocking up here because the high priestess is always looking into spirituality into the unseen world into the world of energy into the world of spirit into the world of how things work not only on the practical level of the physical world, but in the spiritual world. And I feel like with the Empress here, you are really, really looking at how you are feeling in this world. You are really, really looking at, and you are also putting yourself first here with the Empress as well. I feel like you're looking at how you feel, how people are affecting you. Do people care about your energy? Do they care about you? Is there, a, is there a beautiful relationship between you and others here? Do they really care and really care about you, nurture you? And I feel like you're looking at all those energies. This is a real energy of you putting yourself first here. You're creating a miracle in your life so that you can be happy in your world. But I feel like in some kind of way here, you are looking to spirit with the high priestess coming in here to help shift and change things for you. You might have been trying to do things very, very practically for a very long time and you find that you don't get the results that you're looking for. So you're turning to the spiritual way of doing things, which can be literally prayer. It can be um, lighting a candle. It can be burning incense, sound therapy, whatever it is to you. To try to change your energy in some kind of way there, which is absolutely excellent. I think if you can combine practical um steps with the spiritual steps you you'll be amazing you'll see major changes happening now moving on here i do see something amazing showing up here we've got two major arcanas rocking up here and i feel like with the two major arcanas being the sun card and being the strength card the strength card we've got is your own zodiac sign okay coming in here there's some kind of <clears throat> like something you had to overcome here there is something you had to overcome there is something that you had to face look at this little mouse here facing that snake 
and he's standing up to that snake there and he's got the little heart beating over there as well. His little heart must be beating very, very fast, you know, but that's a brave little heart that he's got there. And it's almost like in some point in your life here, you have to stand up to something, stand up to somebody, stand up and stand your ground. You had to face something that scared you and you did this. You have done this and you have turned yourself into something else. It's almost as if you became as powerful and as strong as what was facing you. You became the strength of what was trying to overpower you. You have overpowered it. And because of that, we have this sun card showing up here. You have got this light that has entered your life. You've got this power that has entered your life. I feel as if <coughs> you have actually um, stood up for yourself in some kind of way, maybe fought for your own life, for your own happiness here. And because of that, you do have the sun card showing up here, which shows that you are standing up for your life, your happiness, your growth, what you need to be facing uh, for. I also got this feeling like there was a moment in your life here where you actually had to stand up against something that was not making you happy and you could have overcome what that is and now you're actually not even needing to look at conflict with other people or maybe some person trying to be in control of you or, or do something to hurt you in some kind of way or even something in a situation where it was just overpowering you. You had now have a time where you can start to look at your growth here, where you can start to look at how happy you are feeling in your life. comes back to that empress there again. So it's been very strong here. This is a major event that happened for you in your world because of the two major arcanas coming up. I feel like this was a real turning point right there. This was the turning point in your life, okay, where you shifted something really big, all right? Um, now, <laughs> okay, we've got something interesting coming in here. We've got a lover's card coming in here, which is Gemini, and we have an ace of wands. So, <coughs> with regards to the lover's card, yes, there could be a relationship coming in for you, yeah, or you could have met somebody now. You could also be in a current relationship right now with a person. It looks like things are going to be moving into another level of being. With the Ace of Wands coming in here, something could be happening here. It doesn't have to be a relationship. Just take what resonates with you. Because it can also be a um, what you're in alignment with. Okay, Because a lover's card can mean, yes, um, it's another person that I'm aligning to in my life. It can also mean what you're meant to walk with or what's meant to be with you through your life. The thing that you love to have around you, meaning that I love the job that I'm doing. It can also be a life purpose because sometimes we have a specific life purpose that we need to be doing on this world. And when this kind of cards show up, it can also mean that or a relationship. Just take what resonates with you, Leo. So Leo, for my Leos out there, I feel like there is an incoming change happening here with the Ace of Wands towards what that energy means to you. And this is a very positive shift here. It's either going to change how something has currently been or it's something completely new coming in here. Whatever this is, it is fantastic it is great okay it is inspiring it's full of energy it's full of motivation it's exciting and this is a great feeling coming in this could also be what you are motivated here to move towards which is brilliant so let us have a look now <clears throat> at one year from now let's grab this card out here we've got chop wood you're going to be very busy and um we have got Divine feminine, magnetic receptive power. You have got something right here. I'm just saying, chop wood. I feel like in one year from now, prepare yourself. You are going to be very, very busy. There's an old saying that comes up with this card. Uh, before enlightenment, chop wood, carry water. After enlightenment, chop wood, carry water. But you're doing it differently. I feel like something that you are currently maybe even now working on very hard to, to get your life to become something the way you want it to be, this is when you're doing it. You're doing something here. You're, you're achieving something here. You are very busy in one year from now. Okay, working on something. With regards to the divine feminine energy, it actually comes straight back to this high priestess and the empress here. The divine feminine magnetic perceptive power. 
Okay, so you could be stepping into some kind of power energy here. You're not doing it in the way of the emperor. You're doing it in the way of the empress. Okay, and it's really like you're stepping into your divine feminine energy, male or female energy. It's also very good for a man to have this energy. We actually have both energies. We both, all women and men have divine masculine and divine feminine, sometimes to different degrees or different percentages in us. When you're stepping into divine feminine, you're doing things in a very, very different way. You're trusting intuition here. You're feeling almost ahead as if with the high priestess coming up as well, as if you, you know what to do, as if you're feeling as if, oh, I know what to do here. I, I got this feeling that that's what I need to be doing. And you trust that intuition and you move into it. And this is you really aligning with source energy. It's really aligning with spirit energy, aligning with your spirit guides. You may even be getting a lot of guidance from them as well. This is how you are stepping into your power. It's almost as if your intuition is going to be even increasing from where we are now to in one year from now, which is where we are meant to be going. So let's get some more tarot out for you here. We have got the Ten of Wands, the Emperor and the Empress has shown up in your reading, okay? We have got the Queen of Pentacles, <coughs> we've got the Five of Cups aligning with these cards, we've got the Three of Swords, we have got the Death card, we have got the Moon card, and we have got the Queen of Wands coming in here. So with the Ten of Wands coming up here, there is something here that is hard work that you're putting yourself into. I feel like you have, even from this moment to a year from now, there's definitely something here that's going to be heavy for you as you're carrying. Um, the Three of Swords does come in here. We could be looking at a relationship. We could be looking at what this is here. <coughs> At what that is it's in the same in the same area okay so we could be looking at you finally putting down a stress a worry something that hurts your feelings something that makes you stress out something that makes you get anxious something that makes you uh, almost like you you're carrying on doing something but you're not getting results for it and it does hurt your energy as well you could also be being pulled into different directions and with the ten of wands showing up here with the three of swords it's like you're you're being pulled in different directions and with the ten of wands you've got so much responsibility you are definitely going to be putting this down that's the chop wood energy chop wood i'm so busy i'm so it's it i don't know how to put myself where do i go how do i balance this out and that's your chop wood energy you are going to be very very busy but i feel like you are putting it down because of that ten of wands being there it's like you're gonna have to you're gonna have accomplished something here by the time you get you a year from now with regards to <coughs> the um emperor coming in here I do feel like it's tied to what we were talking about because I literally said the divine feminine energy is the empress and I brought up the empress here and I showed you the empress and the empress lies here. The emperor is in the same spot as a year from now. But above the emperor, we have got the death card showing up here. So the emperor is not intuitive at all. The emperor is about power. I do see them showing power there, but they say perceptive power, which would be that divine feminine energy, not just power. The emperor is a leader. The emperor is Aries' energy. It's a leader taking control. It is um, a person standing in power. So you are empowered here in a year from now. You could be in a place of great success but you're doing something very differently. We've got the death card coming in here, which is Scorpio. Above the emperor and above these cards is divine feminine. And I feel like in current energy, you are working on your intuition. You are working on your spirituality. You are working with ancient wisdom. And it is going to take you to a place of empowerment in a year from now. I told you, if you work with all these energies together, chop the wood, work with spiritual energy, you are going to see unbelievable results. But something is changing here. It's not the same. Um, you're going to be doing something very different here. That's how the death card is above the emperor. For some of you guys, <coughs> um, 
for some Leos out there, this can also be you overpowering or ending a situation here with a very controlling person. That's just off the side. It just came in as, as I was talking to you. I just heard Spirit Guide mentioning it. They're going, this can also be you oh, finally overpowering a very powerful person or a person that's in control of your life here. Putting an end to that with the death card. Putting an end to this person's control over you. It can also be tied to um, a situation that's overpowering you and you're putting an end to that. A change is about to take place. With regards to this, I'm going back to that divine feminine energy for others of you. I feel like you're doing this. You have the power, but you're doing it differently. You're doing it from a place of intuition. You're doing it from a place of like spirituality. I keep wanting to say Zen for some reason, like Zen, you know, like Zen Buddhism or Zen meditation, that kind of feeling. So it's almost like, yes, let's use an example. You get to run that business. But instead of running it in the way that a, a normal emperor boss would run things, you're doing it in a very holistic way, very different way. Maybe your office setup is very holistic and very like different. Like you would go to these very like big companies who kind of like understand people's emotions and these kinds of things. And there's like a meditation center and there's like um, <clears throat> singing balls going in the background. People can kind of like get into the vibe and be healed as they are working. That kind of energy comes up here. If you're thinking of doing something like that and there's something in your mind, wow, this is your reading. Okay, um, that's beautiful energy. Now moving forward here. We've got the moon card again showing up here, which is Pisces' energy, which is also a very spiritual energy with the Queen of Pentacles. Congratulations. In a year from now, let me tell you something. I feel like there's something definitely hidden from you at this moment in current energy because of the moon card showing up. It shows up as being <clears throat> a hidden energy. The moon will always tell you this is what you can see right now, but you can sometimes don't see everything. As you can see, this is new moon energy, but there is a full moon, but you can only see half there. Meaning that this moon goes through cycles of timing, which means every month the moon will come and go. And as that happens, time will move forward. And every time as you're moving throughout the month, the moon is not the same. There are times we can see it and there's times we cannot see it. I feel like hidden from you right now is the fact that there is definitely an increase in your finances here. Um, there's a financial increase for you. Because of the Queen of Pentacles coming in, the Queen of Pentacles feels financially stable. She feels safe in her life, a male or female energy. And I feel like at this current moment in time, that's kind of like what's not shown to you whatever lack of balance if there is a financial lack of balance here in the past you have solved that problem in a year from now congratulations maybe even before that time okay and then as we're moving on here <clears throat> we do have a five of cups coming in here so i got a feeling with the five of cups with the queen of wands being above it there i feel like there's something you're going to overcome here there's some kind of pain here that's hurt you with the Five of Cups. The Five of Cups talks about a heartbreak that you are carrying with you. A pain that you have carried with you where somebody has maybe hurt you more than one time. And I feel like this because the Queen of Wands comes above the Five of Cups, the Queen of Wands would always be how you feel in this life with regards to when you wake up in the morning and you go to bed at night, are you excited? Are you happy? Are you thrilled? How do you feel? And I've got this feeling that with the Queen of Wands being here, there is a very strong energy of you actually feeling differently. There is a healing taking place here within a year from now, excuse me, where you are going to be letting go of something that really, really hurts you here. You're going to be finally releasing a pain that you have been carrying. And that's why the Queen of Wands comes above this card. It shows that you are going to be approaching your everyday life, approaching this world, carrying a very different energy than a broken heart. You're going to be carrying a heart that sings, that laughs, and is full of joy here. This is a beautiful reading, Leo. Thank you so much for being here. I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye.